And now let's look at question 10 and this states, write an expression for the nth degree Taylor polynomial of F centered at A. And then B uh, say, states, write an expression for the Taylor series of F centered at A. So this is the nth degree uh, Taylor polynomial. Now we're looking at the Taylor series. This is summation up to infinity. Uh, and then it says, write an expression for the McLaren series of F. And then uh, D states, how do you show that F of X is equal to the sum of its Taylor series? And then uh, part E state, uh, is, it says state Taylor's inequality. All right, so now let's take a look at the solution. So let's look at part A. This is right expression for the nth degree Taylor polynomial of F centered at it. So part A, recall from my earlier video, this is on uh, Taylor and McLaren series. And uh, so what we have here is the nth degree Taylor polynomial. So T sub N of X is equal to the summation, I'll make this bigger, summation from I equals zero to N of the ith derivative at A or of A uh, divided by I factorial times it by X to the X minus A to the power of I. So when you plug in zero there, that's just the, is zero with derivative, in other words, just a function. So f of zero is just a function, not the derivative of a divided by i fa one factor or zero factorial is just one. And then the power of this is x minus a the power of zero, that's just one. So that's just f of a. The next one's gonna be f at derivative, f first derivative uh, at a divided by one factorial, then times x minus a uh, power of one. The next one's second derivative. Now you have a two, and the third one's uh, it then go all the way to the nth derivative divided by n factorial times x minus a power of n. Yeah, so that is the nth degree Taylor polynomial of f centered at a. So centered at a, that's what how you would write it like that. Hence, when you're dealing with radius of convergence, you're, again, you're centered about that a point, a, and then you're centered, and then, then it's the radius is outwards, like a circle of convergence there. So hence the phrase center. So now let's look at part B. It says write an expression for the Taylor series of F centered at A. All right, so part B, recall from the same video above. This is the nth degree, but now the series, instead of going to N, we just go straight to infinity. Yeah, so then uh, because there's infinity there and this one is N is equal to zero, we don't need to write I. It doesn't go up to N there. We just write N equals zero, so uh, just better, uh, it's easier to write because you're not putting infinity in these terms. So. Uh, summation from n equals zero to infinity of f of nth degree, uh, I mean nth uh, derivative of uh, a divided by n factorial of, yeah, this is, a, I mean, this is the nth derivative of f at a, and then times it by x minus a to the power of n. And then this becomes f a plus f prime of a divided by one factorial times x minus a, then the f second derivative f double prime uh, uh, at a uh, times by x minus a squared on all divided by two factorial. The next one you have the third derivative, three factorial, and it's power of three. And so it goes all the way to infinity. So whenever you hear the word series, it's infinity. And when you have the nth degree, you're just going up to n terms. So it's a partial sum. All right, so now let's look at uh, part C, write an expression for the McLaren series of F. So part B, recall from the same video above. Uh, so this is the McLaren one. Uh, all, uh, I mean, that's part C right here. So re part C, recall from the same video above. So you have the summation from n equals zero up to infinity of the nth uh, derivative of f at zero. So the only change is a is equal to zero for the McLaren, just a special case. And then divided by n factorial times x power of n. So basically you're gonna have uh, f of zero plus f prime of zero divided by one factorial times x. The next one f double prime at zero divided by two factorial x squared. So note that the McLaren series is just a special case of the Taylor series where a is equal to zero. Yes, and it's used a lot, and it's uh, useful in many areas, so it's given its own name. So, But they're both Taylor series. Just, so McLaren is a special case of Taylor series. All right, so now D, uh, part D, how do you show that fx is equal to the sum of its Taylor series? Let's take a look at D right here. And uh, we can recall from the same video above, and here's the theorem to show that. So if fx is equal to the nth degree Taylor polynomial of x plus the remainder Rn of x, where Tn is the nth degree Taylor polynomial of f at a, 
and the limit as n approaches infinity of r n of x is zero. So in other words, the remainder goes to zero. Or the radius of convergence uh, absolute value of x minus a is less than r. Then f is equal to the sum of its Taylor series uh, for the you know, on the interval uh, inside its radius of convergence. So absolute value of x minus a is less than r. So basically, we have to show that this remainder goes to zero, and hence uh, f of x is equal to uh, the Taylor series. This right here. Because you could write this uh, for a, uh, for most functions or a lot of functions right here. You could write the Taylor series for it, but to uh, equate this as f x, you need to make sure the remainder goes to zero. All right. So now let's look at part E. So part E states state Taylor uh, Taylor's inequality. So here's Taylor's inequality to find that remainder. So recall from the same video above as part E. So uh, Taylor's inequality if yeah, if uh, the absolute value of the nth plus one derivative of f at, at x is less than or equal to capital M for the absolute value of x minus a is less than or equal to d, then the remainder r n of x of the Taylor series satisfies the inequality, yeah, inequality right here. So r n of x, the absolute value of the, of the remainder is less than or equal to m which is again greater than this uh, n plus one derivative, uh, then divided by n plus one factorial times by x minus a to the power of n plus one for all uh, x minus a is less than or equal to d there. So yes, <laughs> pretty big inequality. And in that video, I went over the proof of it, just quite uh, remarkable or uh, just tedious and so on.